You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Our guy. We ain't seen him in a minute. This He's guy. not even a special guest anymore. That's just our guy. Yeah, our yeah. guy. Wiz Khalifa. Hey. Now, how's hey. it going? Cameron. <laughs> My he born day raised, next week now. <laughs> my yep. born day next week. I know you bought me some nice Khalifa Kush. I got, you, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I need it for my cataracts. I got you. You got cataracts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my <laughs> eyes. My, my eyes been been really good lately. So I yeah. bet they have. Yeah. I was telling them that I, I smoked with you. Mm -hmm. I took only three pulls, and I was like, I couldn't feel my. I was trying to be real quiet. Yeah. Because I couldn't feel anything. I was nervous. I was like, I can't feel my arm. I'm gonna yeah. die. I can't feel my die. legs. Yeah. And I purposely took an Uber because I knew I was like. I don't want to have to drive or anything, mm -hmm. so I knew. But KK it, does that. You should just listen to some music. It was a good feeling, I guess, mm -hmm. in retrospect, now that I'm not nervous anymore. Yeah. You should um, smoke it before you come to work. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yo, we ate edibles We've one time before, before we before. came here, <laughs> and we all fell asleep. Really? Like, literally, just all fell asleep. <laughs> well, I didn't fall that asleep, but they did. How'd y'all do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I was I like, edibles. Edibles. You know, the edibles sneak up on you. Yeah, I was <laughs> laughing the whole time, and we just fell asleep. We, we, we stayed here till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Knocked out, passed out. <laughs> now, you've been consistent musically for years, but, you know, you come in waves. Why so much music right now? Because I heard, like, three songs from you in the past two days. Yeah, and I got uh, some projects out, too. Khalifa's out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Rude Awakening is out. Mm -hmm. Um, I just love putting out music. Um, as a fan, I just feel like stuff should be new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is a, a good year for new music. Um, there's a lot going on. Mm. Big people putting out different stuff. So I want to make my own moments as well. I want to smoke that Khalifa Kush to more and more. Yeah. That oh, yeah, yeah. Too. More and more is tight. Mm -hmm. Khalifa, the album is tight, too. The whole project, man. People should go get that. Check that I out. I actually, we listened to that when um we did lip service together. We oh, yeah. We listened to that beforehand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, the other day, Angela, you reported that you, you were and PopCon was going back and forth. But well, I, told I also you, reported that, that real it was just not? a reggae it was clash. A, it wasn't real. Yeah, it was a, it was a clash, yeah. But it wasn't real. You can't be telling men to get so. hand. You, men giving other men hand jobs. Yeah, that was a little too far. It was funny. It was funny. No, I didn't take it too far. That's like your mama what? joke. Like you go there, you like your mama be like, oh, that's too far. Your mama nah. dead. My mama dead. Come on now. You call them Pop Tart. <laughs> you told me to jerk Drake off, bro. <laughs> so was it real or was it a? I was trying to figure out was it real or what they call it? Ba mashing. Class. Class? Class? No, I was in the uh, the spirit. I was in the spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom said the best thing. She was like. Uh, She's like, when you're in battle, you can't be peace king. You got to be war king. That's what your mom said? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So who won the battle? They won. Really? Mm -hmm. But I mean, you was in their, on their turf anyway, though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. We were all, it's, what it is is a sound clash is like two DJs or I guess crews two against DJs, each yeah. other. This was a culture clash. Mm -hmm. So it was um, the reggae dance hall and then there was, um, there was like UK, like garage, mm -hmm. and then there was grime. And then there was us doing hip hop. So mm -hmm. it was like different genres going up against each other. We was repping for the hip hop. In Jamaica. And they was repping for the for reggae and dance hall. How yeah. do you keep the crowd from getting hostile though? Because once you tell my hometown hero that he's jerking off another man, I'm gonna start throwing stuff at you. For real? But they know I mean, what it I, is. It was yeah, like it was, yeah, nah, the whole the whole competition was set up for us to go at each other. Gotcha. We made songs specifically saying we were going to kill them. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> yeah, so, like, that, it was just part of it. Mm -hmm. You no. know what? I was surprised, because usually Wiz is the peaceful guy. If somebody says something about him, you kind of just ignore it. Mm -hmm. When you and Kanye was going through it, you was like, F that. You he got like, on Yeezy Boots right now, though. Does he? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> What made you what made you say F that and go at him? Because usually you're not he, that person. You went after the kid. Come on. No, man. I, didn't, I didn't I don't feel like I really went at him. Um no, I didn't go at him. It it was a misunderstanding though, because you weren't even talking about anything to do with him and then he just jumped out, you know, jumped off the roof and started talking crazy and he was just wrong. Like, that was his bad. Right, it was his bad. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's important to speak up because he was talking a little reckless. He brought up the kid. Once you bring up the kid, all gloves are off, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, we might have, we got to, that's a fade. That's a fade. Yeah, you might only five That's minutes. a fade. That's a friendly fade. <laughs> He's like, nope. Did y'all speak after that? <laughs> On the phone. 
Did y'all squashed it out and everything. Um, was he I, apologetic? Yeah, he apologized. I wouldn't necessarily say it squashed though, because like when you see him talk about it, it is it doesn't it doesn't add up to what he said to me on the phone. Right. So I just you just don't, don't like even. Him. Do I like him? I said you just don't really like him. That's all. <laughs> you said that. Right. I'm, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> who would like in that situation? Yeah, that's in that, that situation. Sense. Who would? Yeah, you can't bring up the kids. Anything, yeah. anything but the kids. Yeah. Now and I also... saw you in the shoe store, and somebody asked you about the Yeezy Boost, and you get on the Yeezy Boost. <laughs> you seen that? It looked like a paper mache project. Yeah. The black ones look alright, the low top ones, but the actual big joint that looked like an elephant foot. I asked my man. <laughs> no, never mind. I ain't even gonna go in all that. <laughs> 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 now you're also undergoing new management changes, right? Mm -hmm. We saw that you're suing. You're. I didn't even know that you were no longer being mm -hmm. managed by um, Benji and yeah. these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've actually had new management for the past like year and a half almost. Oh, I didn't. I even signed know that. with um, Constance Schwartz and mm -hmm. Smack Entertainment. And it's been really good because she doesn't even do rap. Mm -hmm. and she used to work with Snoop back in the day. But she does people like Michael Strahan and Tony Gonzalez and Deion Sanders and stuff like that. So um, when she took me under her wing and started managing me, it was it was really good because it was it, it allowed me to go to the next level and for mm -hmm. people to look at me like I was doing bigger and better things. Um, and my relationship with my old business partners and things like that, it's like, it's just... It comes to a point where, you know, I started really early with them when I was 16. Mm -hmm. I'm 28 now. And it's like, you know, things change. So um, throughout that time, I just had to boss up and man up and do my own thing. And mm -hmm. uh, some people are with that. Some people aren't with that. And then it's, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. Part of bossing up is, you know, proving that you're a boss. So that's mm -hmm. what we're going through now. I feel like that number kind of low, though. A million dollars? What? The number that's being sued for. Yeah. It's like it should be more on the table than that. No, not really. I mean, like, um, I know what I'm worth, and I know what I'm going to take away from this situation. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to fight any battles that's not worth fighting. I just want what's mine. It's old to you. Yeah, and then, and then, I, it's not like we hate each other You're or anything You're not trying to destroy like him. No, nah, I would never want right. that. I would never want that. It's, I just want to be able to be free right. in my situation, move around, and respectfully, you know, sever our... Um, our Ties. business relationship. Is it hard doing that with family, though? Yeah, it's really hard doing that with family. Um, especially when there's money involved. Uh -huh. You know, because everybody wants to take care of their family. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, we're not going to do business no more, but how am I going to be straight at the end of this? And that's mm -hmm. more or less what, what we're going through now. I saw right. black and yellow just went six times platinum. Yeah. <laughs> it, started, it was like four, and then it just went to six. Thank you for streams being <laughs> counted for record sales. <laughs> checks coming in they had to like they had to stall my see you again check because they was like wait whoa i hate we need to add up we need to add up the streams i hated see you again it why because it's depressing as hell it's see song. you again is like the 2016 man in the mirror like with by sweet. michael jackson that's good those songs make my eyes water i'm like turn that off it was all, it was we don't want to hear that right now we need to be more now. in touch with those emotions so no <laughs> like I'm like, why do they play this song all the time? There's no reason. Always, always I guess up. somebody's always dying, but damn. Yeah. If you ain't going through that, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. Somebody's always dying. Mm -hmm. Now you know you have cool. to perform that oh, yeah. over and over. Yep. It don't make you feel away. You like, don't cry at all. Not on that one. No. I cry on like. You ever heard when I'm gone? The song from Rolling Papers. Mm -hmm. I cry when I perform that. But nah, not on See You Again. I like that song. What made you write that record though? What? See You Again. That's for Fast and Furious. Yeah, it was for Fast and Furious. Oh, so it wasn't personal? It was just. Paul I mean, Paul of course Walker. it's personal, but like, um, I, I definitely like brought a lot of the movie into it. Just the theme of um, moving on, you right. know, losing something, but still moving on. That's good, because every time I hear that no, song, I, I connect it mm -hmm. with, you know, with the movie and all the incidents and why you. I'm sure I had to write that for it. So mm -hmm. I always think about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you didn't know it was going to be a smash? Mm -mm. He said never expected it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you wrote it, did it, here's the nah, soundtrack. Nah, because the crazy money. thing about movie songs is you never know how it's going to end up. Mm -hmm. You never know what the final product is going to be. It's not like when I write one of my own songs, when I <clears throat> I write the verse, I write the hook, I'll sequence it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But with a movie song... um, they kind of give you a lot of direction and they're like, write one verse, write a pre-hook, 
keep this here, change that. Right. We might add this person. We might add that person. So there were three other people on the song when it, before it was done. Swear to goodness, like three big names. I don't even want to say who they were because that's my song. <laughs> <laughs> were they, were they hip hop? So they picked yours. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So they picked yours. They kicked them off. Wow. Oh, so wow. three verses. Yeah, done. Wow. So yeah, that's how movie songs work. I know they. I know they. Like oh, them is hot. <laughs> <laughs> They're hot. They, they say they say stuff to you about it. Nah, nah, nah. No. You got two records that <laughs> you can your, It's not your decision, so it's Hey, not I like ran this. off with that one. That's mine. <laughs> you got at least two records that you can perform forever. As long as the Steelers win, you can always do Black and Yellow. Yep. Mm -hmm. And as long as people die, you can do See You Again. Yep. That's and now true. I can do Wiz Khalifa High because of Fetty Wap. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 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 Did Khalifa. he play you that song before he put it out? I was lurking on Instagram and I seen it because I'm still like really into the internet. Mm -hmm randomly seen him singing it in his car. I was like, that song is hard. Yeah. And then he made it his single, so it was cool. Everybody thought you was on it. Everybody said- You should do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a verse. Oh, Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm retarded. Wiz not on that right? <laughs> 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 Hold on. Hold on. I thought it was Fetty Wap featuring Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> for the longest time I did too. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a, it's it's not. not. <laughs> that's what's so incredible about it though, because right. it's really a old. <clears throat> Man, to no. You. Radio stations have been saying Fetty Wap featuring Wiz Khalifa. I know I'm not I've crazy, y'all. I stopped saying it though, like a couple weeks ago. That was Envy saying it. I was saying it like <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> radio to stations. The song? Yes. yes, that's the joint where he, he did the video in the high school. Yeah, I just yeah, thought you yeah. couldn't make the video. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Wow. Are y'all cool like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you get paid from that? I don't think so. I don't want no money from that. Yeah. That's not. No, that's another well, black man. Money, that's a black man helping another black man. <laughs> that's kind of like, I mean, you you kind of young to be getting dedication records. So that's, that's awesome. That's why I say, like, you know, really, I'm showing, like, respect to him because it takes a lot to you know put somebody up there like that i mean a lot of people will come up to me and tell me who i am for our generation i won't say it out loud i let my i let my work speak you know yeah. what i'm saying but for somebody to come along and to, you know show me some love like that it's tight well i've never been higher than wiz khalifa high so word now, nobody you, has you haven't. not even <laughs> snoop you can't i mean you know snoop knows what wiz khalifa high is yeah. <laughs> That's my man. And uh, we're going to be getting high all summer, too, on yeah, the high road. Tour, right? Yeah, we're going on tour. What's some Tickets are available. Happened? Ticket masters get the VIP packages. Meet and greet? Meet and greet. Come smoke with me and Snoop. their meet and greets for some reason recently. Why are they doing that? Oh, because that girl, that girl got, shot. got shot. Yeah. Well, yep. But then Justin yeah. Bieber. Well, Snoop and Wiz is going to be that. peaceful. They're going to be smoking. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be peaceful. You think this girl wasn't <clears> peaceful? <throat> Christina Grimmio? You going to want to shoot nobody after smoking weed with them. <laughs> what's, the, what's the funniest hmm. thing that happened to you recently while you were high? Um, I seen a girl fall out of her shoes. What? <laughs> I mean, her shoes are too big for her. <laughs> nah, we, <laughs> we was in the club. <laughs> and, like, literally, <clears throat> we chilling. She passed me the joint. I'm smoking it. I go to pass it back. She's not there. And I look down, <laughs> and her shoes were still there. <laughs> so, I'm like, I didn't know whether she, like, got up or left. Or... How do you know she even really existed? Dog. <laughs> I don't know, like she vaporized or something. So I pulled my phone out, like you know they got the light on the phone, so I'm flashing it, like, and then I put it on the floor, and I was like, oh man, she See? was she she went down. That's so what happened mean. to the? She was down there. Yeah. Oh okay. I'm like, <laughs> See, I know what she happened. She couldn't feel her legs. Remember, I said I couldn't feel my. She was legs. on her back. That's what happened. She couldn't feel her legs, and she oh. Mm -mm. And what do you do with her once you find her on her back? Call yes. Breeze. So Breeze to pick her up. Help her out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Breeze, I'm sorry, man. Can you please? He's like, it's cool. And he picked her up, and then like her arms just went like like noodles. That's how Bill Cosby likes him, baby. Okay. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Now, Stop now why it. did you use the Steph Curry pick for more and more? I liked how that girl was looking at him. We call her a vaginal scammer. You know she's in New York right now because it's the NBA, NBA draft. You don't know if that's why she's yeah. here. Man, why would she come all the way from Oakland and just be randomly just walking the, through New York? Just the look in her eye, like, that's a, that's a soul that that roams this earth. <laughs> 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 we call that a vaginal scammer. It's true. But the song don't got nothing to do with that, though. It's about <laughs> legalizing weed. <laughs> well. It's just a good picture for yeah. the moment. <laughs> yep. now, Was yeah, that you what? shooting your shot, bro? Mm -mm. You sure? You in her DMs? I don't got to talk to that girl. Yeah. I just like how she was looking at him. It's a good look. I want a girl to come to my show and look at me like that. I'm sure they do. Come on, man. Oh, it's it's so, of it. <laughs> but, like, you know, we need motivation and inspiration. <laughs>
Now, for everybody out there, there's a lot of people who have issues with like their baby mama, their baby baby daddy. But you and Amber Rose have managed to come together. It seemed like at first it was going to be real rocky, mm -hmm. but now you guys are friends yeah. mm -hmm. and you love each other. How did you get to that point? How do you get a divorce and then the party and then celebrating the club together? Yeah, well, we weren't really celebrating our divorce in the club together, but I just kind of had to boss up, like you know what I mean. Um, it took a lot of me just like knowing myself and being myself and reacting to the situation how I would. As soon as I started doing that, then things started working out in my favor. But you using you your feelings, using your feelings you... at first? Yeah, of course. All right. You know, like that's my baby's mom, that's my wife. Like if a lot of people, if they just break up with their girlfriend, they're beefing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's, that's all we know is like, as a guy is like, that bitch, mm -hmm. like immediately, you know what I mean? You but you did do say some things on songs and everything that she didn't appreciate. I mean, yeah, I mean, people go through, like, mm -hmm. anybody would do that, whether you're a rapper or whether you're in high school or whatever, like that, that's what you do when you go through a breakup. It was just different for us because people was looking at us on TV. Mm -hmm. But um, the moment that I realized like, dude, just be you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like react to it how you would like, you know, you're a cool dude. Like, don't worry about it. It'll work itself out. And then that's when it start, I started really realizing, like, the love that was still there. You know what I mean? And that's really all that we kind of focus on. And, you know, we have little situations where it's kind of like it could get there, but just knowing that we're not going to take it there, I think that's the, the best part. It's like, I don't know. We got we got more restraint. You know what I mean? And um, having that distance really helped. Not saying that we needed it, but it's like I'm just glad that we have that restraint and we're able to get through situations and right. be productive in life. And going to the strip club, that was just something that was really fun, <laughs> you know? That's just, just great advice. A it's great advice for other people, I feel like, who can't get to that point with someone they at one point were in love with and they have children together. Mm -hmm. It is great advice for other people to just be yourself mm -hmm. and think about how would I re react mm -hmm. to certain why, things. Why not wait a while? Like, wait and see if things can reconcile. What? If you still Before think you it's get love. Divorced? Yeah. Because she still loves you. She she yeah, sperm. yeah, Don't definitely. Said it mad times. She, she says she wants you. your sperm for another <laughs> child. Yeah. Would you consider that? <laughs> make a good breed. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, you know, that's my baby's mom. That's who I would love to, you know, continue having a family with. It's Here just we a, go. So the, why not wait a while? It's, just the, it's just the relationship part, man. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not easy to just be like, Oh, I'm get along with this person, so we're married. Like, right. That should take years. We didn't take that time. So, as far as like the marriage, that shit is over. But us still building and getting to know each other, that's gonna last forever. I'm happy with that. Did it piss you off when you saw her like with other guys, whether it was nah. Machine Gun Kelly or James Harden, whoever? Nah, nah, it didn't piss me off. It, I mean, you know, you don't want to see your ex like talking crazy and stuff like that. But we was in an emotional time and. Behind closed doors, she would always tell me, like, well, you know I'm just doing that to hurt you, right? And I would be like, I understand, but you ain't got to really do all of that. So conversations like that really helped. Right. Mm -hmm. It was it was like it was better for us because we had more of an understanding than anybody on the outside did. So we were able to, like, mend the situation. But you were doing your thing, too. Yeah. You didn't do it publicly, star. though. We seen with a porn what? star one time, I think. You seen me with a porn star? Wow. So, was they a said there was a sex Who does tape? porn? There was a sex tape and you had to block it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But she was out with, like, quote-unquote high-profile people. You was just, you know... Yeah. Chilling with some randoms. What about <laughs> being friends with somebody? Like, I always thought you and Machine Gun Kelly... I always thought you and Machine Gun Kelly were cool. Uh-huh. Does that make you not be cool with him That's anymore? a little weird now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's a little weird. <laughs> I mean, is that violent? Instantly, that home? instantly makes two people go their their separate ways. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a violation of guy code. Yeah, I can't do a song with you anymore. Um, it's just the parting of ways. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, not even with MGK though. With baby mom, it's like, all right, come on now. Nah, she's gonna be my baby's mom forever. Got you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's I can't part with her. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Like that, we 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 got an understanding, but there is no understanding there. Right. Yeah. Now, when you saw the tweet about Amber sticking fingers in Kanye's butt, mm -hmm. did you giggle? I, oh, you I was crying. I was okay. crying. Did I hear that story before? Yes, you did. Um. Well, you said it. I didn't say it, but like that's my my wife. Yeah. yeah you dig yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, um. 
She tells me everything. So how does she just bring up violating another rapper, sodomizing another rapper? Well, he brought up how my do you son. Think sodomizing like that. Um, it is sodomizing. No, no, no. I'm saying when she's talking to you about it. <laughs> oh, talking to me about it? Well, I never said that she told me about that. I just said gotcha. she tells me everything. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. So, so it's like words in his mouth. Yeah, whatever she tells me is just like in conversation in the comfort of our own home. I'm not gonna tell nobody. She's not gonna tell nobody. It's our business. It could have been like, hey. Someone so like this, you want to try? Yeah. No, she no, 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 with you? no. That's what I was thinking. She tried nah. it with you, and you was like, "Who you ever did that to?" Nah, <laughs> nah. Kanye <laughs> does it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I'm just saying. With you, with like, you, you, guys, you know when they're like that or not. When who they, you can try like, that with or when not? They like the pretty brown eye being poked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you can go there well, with, and who you can't go there with. You do know because. They first of all, they do certain things. Like right. they try to shift their butt onto your. You know, they do certain things. There's certain or signs. Or giving them that performing the, oral sex. They try to like lift up. You saw when Tank was up here and he was lifting his legs up. He was getting his <laughs> feet. No, it's a difference. No, but if you get Tongue your ass, ass and you probably and fingers, like fingers in. No, your that's not true. You don't got your <laughs> eaten with. Me. <laughs> <laughs> why are you? <laughs> why are you telling me that I didn't have this stuff done? There, so speak for you, man. <laughs> I also feel like sometimes when you get high, you do things that maybe you think about later. Like, damn, does she have a finger in my butt? No, 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 no. When you're high, no, man. You're, you're like super conscious, man. Like <laughs> some people are, some people aren't. Because some people get high and they're just like, you know. You can't do that Indian style. Some people fall out of their, <laughs> out of their shoes, you know. And next thing you know, <laughs> so when nah, you read man. the tweet, did you just start laughing and call it like? Yeah, I was like, yo, it was crazy because, yeah, it was crazy. All right. Yeah. Did you bring it up to Kanye when you talked to him on the phone about the whole son situation? Uh, I kind of put it in the perspective of uh, there's certain things you say and there's certain things you don't say because he, he's one of them people where he's like, I just want to get my point across. So I'm like, that's cool, but it's all about how you get your point across. Mm -hmm. That was more my message. And plus he was just wrong. He like was dead just, wrong. KK had nothing to do with him or anything. Yeah. That, that was the dumbest. That was old, the funniest. That's when I realized Kanye didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, he does not listen to the Wizards music. He don't know what Khalifa Kush is. <laughs> now, who else? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, who's part of Taylor Gang, just so we know? Sosa Man. Mm -hmm. He next up. J.R. Donato. Chevy Woods. Raven. Uh, Juicy J. Ty Dollar Sign. Mm -hmm. We just signed TM of 808 Mafia. Oh, nice. As a producer, um, yeah. and you have heavy cosigns for Lil Uzi Vert too. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to sign like to Uzi. Record. Put single, yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to sign Uzi, but he didn't sign with me. He signed with Drama. He was already with Drama. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Drama and Cannon, they signed him first. Early. Yeah, they picked up on him first, and then um, they went on a couple tours with me, like two or three tours before he put out his first project. And um, I was like, wow, he's about to be some. Then he started really popping off, and I was like, we need to link up, and he. He didn't want to do it. But that doesn't affect your relationship. You're still working. Nah, doing, yeah, that's still my little homie, man. Like, He's not one of those people who I feel like i done something for. So, like, he you should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he definitely did it on his own. I just really wanted to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting. You haven't really branched out outside of music, like, as far as, like, TV, things like that. And I know people be coming at mm -hmm. you. And you even told TMZ you tapping out of TV. What does that mean? Um, It's just TV is kind of... Kind of small. I'm doing more voiceovers and cartoons and shit. All right. Yeah, and definitely putting out just music. I really focus on my music. My two projects that that I got, Rude Awakening with Juicy and Khalifa, mm -hmm. and I'm working on Rolling Papers too, but that, that keeps me busy. You know what I mean? I really don't got time to be trying to be like this. You did that cowboy movie, though. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> How high were you? I did that for Amber. That was a kid. I did that for Amber. You were either really in love or really high. They're really in love. I did that for Amber. 100%. Are you going to be on her new talk show? I might show up. Mm. Yeah, like as a special guest real quick. I, it would be, it would kind of be corny if I didn't. Absolutely. Yeah. To show you, and you've been tweeting mm. out and showing your support for the show. Also. Yeah. You love her, man. Yeah, that's my dog. I just want to say, why you just don't wait? Like I'm doing the right thing, man. I got her holding it down. You know, I'm out living my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can do what I want to do. All right. Would you and, date and, somebody again that doesn't smoke, though? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. That wasn't difficult because she doesn't smoke, but... Nah. 
Mm-hmm. It wasn't difficult. It's like the lifestyle kind of, you know, you got to get used to it, but I could turn any girl to a stoner. <laughs> yeah. You miss being married? I mean, me and everybody, nope. married. I love the stability of it. Nope. <laughs> but you still no, young though. You twenty yeah. what? Twenty eight. Oh, I'll be yeah, twenty nine this year. He probably yeah. doesn't miss like arguments and all of that, and you know. Um. No. Don't miss, miss the yeah, cuddle. Miss the what was the best cuddle? thing about being married? I cuddle. Oh, you still cuddle? <laughs> 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 don't cuddle with these random ass girls. You are gonna end up on YouTube. Hey, I'm a lover. Oh. <laughs> now, what was the best thing about being married? Just in general. It was cool being married to her. I don't know about being married but it was cool being married and i'm sure having bash baby bash was Mm -hmm. was cool i mean we would have had him without marriage Mm -hmm. (laughs) marriage marriage sucks like really why man no it don't don't say that see man why you keep saying it sucks because y'all don't understand the difference between loving somebody forever and being married Mm -hmm. you don't got to be married you go to a thing and sign something to get married Mm -hmm. Um, so who's marriage is the was reason it to get that married? both of ours because that's how we're you're raised to think that you're supposed mm-hmm. to get married, but in all actuality, like if you have a family and somebody that you care for, or love for, or even just take ownership and embrace your own life, and this is some that's bigger than rap, bigger than celebrity. This is spiritual. This is has to do with the universe. You embrace your own path, and then you walk on that path for your whole life, and then the decisions that you make in between are just things that you learn from, you know what I mean? But the end is the end. And that's what a real marriage is. It's the end. It's not these 10 years that we was together because as soon as you get divorced, the marriage is over. Mm. I agree with you. I don't think marriage, if you don't feel like you want to get married, you shouldn't have to. It it lasts forever. You can be with somebody forever and not get married. It lasts forever. Like the idea of marriage, not the business of it. Right. Like being a family and stuff like that is totally what you're supposed to do but actually being married that's the reason i had to give her a million dollars you know what i'm saying but she got me for the rest of her life she's gonna get a more than a million dollars but people look at it as oh they broke up a million dollars. that's what marriage does mm-hmm. it makes something that was official unofficial now we discussed that i don't feel like you should have to give a million dollars and pay 17 grand a month if you already taking care of your child we yeah. know you take care of your son that's right. marriage that is ridiculous that's the business part of it. that's the business part of and it that's because what you yeah, I mean, and that, and that protects women as well, because if I was a douchebag, you know, after we got divorced, I wouldn't take care of her and my son. But everybody knows, like, me and my style, she can get anything. Ain't nobody going to take care of her better than I am, regardless of child support or whatever that mm-hmm. is. That's real marriage. That's real love. The paperwork. Mm-hmm. And what's good about Amber is that at least she works and she has yeah. makes her own money and she she's out checks. there grinding. Absolutely. She's mm-hmm. not just sitting around like I need Wiz to take care of me. Yeah, nah. I mean, she can nah. take care of you too. Hopefully, <laughs> you a good guy. To, you a good guy to get vaginally scammed because you're you making mean? a lot of money on tour. You oh, vaginally scammed. You be using yeah. some crazy words, yo. <laughs> Them vaginal scammers is out here. Vaginally bro. scammed. Like you want to watch? Mm. I guess you know. <laughs> All right. I guess. Wiz is a nice guy. <laughs> Wiz is a nice guy who makes great music, period. That's what it is. Well, the tour is going to be... The tour is going to be gonna awesome. Summer long, so go get your They're tickets. giving away free tickets for that because of the Ticketmaster scam that happened. Did you see that? What happened? Um, Ticketmaster was like overcharging people. So there's a couple of different um, shows that they actually are giving people vouchers. And oh, okay. Your, so get some tickets. Yeah. It's actually one of them that they have to refund people and they can get tickets to go see. Get some tickets Dope. to the high road. Mm-hmm. Get some free tickets. Come smoke some weed. You got to join on the Suicide Squad soundtrack too, right? Yes, sir. The video just came out today. Um... Yeah, shout out to Universal, Kevin Weaver. It's it's good over there. What's that? That's the Suck Up a Pain record? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you hear it yet? I ain't heard it yet. Yeah, it's me, Wayne, Logic. Uh, Ty Dolla Sign, I heard. Ty's on yeah. there. Taylor Gang. Two Taylor Gang artists. One song. Yeah. So, Imagine so, Dragons. So that's Imagine your, Dragons, yeah. That's your thing now? Like, I got to get a song on the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> They kind of just look to me for the soundtracks now. It's like I'm right. the soundtrack dude. Like, That's a nice supplemental yeah, I'm sure they call it now. Yeah, it's cool. It, it, I mean, you know, the checks are nice. It's easy to write those songs, and, it, and it, get, it goes a long way. Branches out, like, a little bit further than just normal rap shit. And then if it's in the movie, every time it gets released overseas, you get another check. Mm-hmm. And every, 
area is another check. Yeah, kids get to listen to it. It kind of makes me like a like a superhero. Mm-hmm. DVD, another check. All Blu-ray, right. another now check. Now let's cut the small talk. How, how am I going to get this weed out the car? You said the weed, you said? You said you got um, the Khalifa cushion in the car. You, you want me to you, send somebody you got, down? You don't got like a runner? I do. Yes, I do. I got you. Okay. <laughs> send them to me. And, and you know what, too? I want to shout, shout the burner. Oh, burning. man, I didn't even say burner the whole time. Yeah, burner, your guy burning, man. He holds Dang. Every time I'm on Show, shout out to burner. Shout out to you. Because I definitely keep leaving Burner's name out. Burner is Taylor Gang. <laughs> and Burner's certified, man. What was you about to say? Yo, Burner holds me down when I'm on the West Coast. He Word. makes sure I'm good in the street and makes Word. sure I'm good on the smoke. He sounds like he got a gun. That's what Burner's he good for. A couple, Having a gun? He's peaceful. Holding nah, Burner's, Burner's a good dude. Go, go Burner's, good. Burner's the best. And he's like, you you don't know Burner? He don't know Burner. You uh-huh. just wore his shirt. The Trap God Cookies Oh, joint. I did meet Burner. That's Burner. I met Burner. I met, and I met, that's what yeah, I was yeah. about to say. He's such a hustler, man. Yes. And he's so like, just he on top of his bit. game. Nah, like, he's a good you're real dude. High sprung, like, <laughs> yo, what's up, yo? Like, doing it all. No, that's not for real. real. That's not burner. I met another one. Then. Burner, then. It was somebody with burner. Then burner, burner's chill. Light skin boy head, yeah. Mexican. Mm. Nah, he's not. He's not. Uh-huh. I like the trap guy joint with Gucci though. Yeah, he does. Man, shout out to burner, man. My bad, burn. Did you know that Gucci's a clone and? I was gonna ask y'all if y'all believe that. Y'all really think that that's the Gucci clone? <laughs> it's possible. I don't even smoke weed. So? I don't believe that stupid. <laughs> Come on. You think so? What do you think? What you think? I think it's possible, man. I think I you think a clone because you got new would... tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? You didn't have that relief before. Why would they clone Gucci man? Hey, that's what I said yesterday. Because he has a great <laughs> ear for music. It's like you ever seen Pet Cemetery? Yeah. And they bury the pets in the cemetery, and then they come back, and then. But you can't clone somebody's ear. It's a Gucci, you know, they like, probably you can't be like, music. like, if you get a clone, you know, there's missing, they can clone you like, there's it. missing pieces, like, to, to the original, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can clone you clone Steve thing. Jobs. So, like, you might clone me, and I might be, like, super, like, lazy. Okay. You know? But then you also have a lot of great things about you. Are we having a fake conversation about clones right now? Is that what we're doing right now? <laughs> you ever a met stoner. a clone? This is a this is a one. Have of I met a clone? Yeah, I think I met some clones before. See, really? So there's clones amongst us. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa's clone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> the new single is out right now. So like, make sure you get it. You can hit it on iTunes. More yeah, more get iTunes. Khalifa. So streaming all that other stuff. Get Rude Awakening. <laughs> Man, man, get Gucci cologne. All right. <laughs> Not the Gucci cologne, Gucci clone. <laughs> All right, it's The Breakfast Club. It's Wiz Khalifa. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.